let us begin. I'm going to turn off comments and I'm going to turn on a bit of gore. Uh, yes, let's begin. So you were asking for gore last week and I thought to myself, okay, gore, come on, come on, think. And I remembered then something I can't believe that I haven't thought about this before. Uh, I remembered a cycle of frescoes that I saw in Rome that are horrifically gory. And so do you know what? I've got some gore for you week after week after week after week, probably until Christmas, maybe even a bit beyond. I don't know. <laughs> so are you ready? Actually, the first image isn't that gory, but we're going to start with, um, we're going to start with this image. So this is an image of St. Stephen um, and it is part of a fresco cycle in the church of San Stefano Rotondo. Um, so as you can possibly guess by the name, it is dedicated to St. Stephen, who is here, we'll be coming back to him shortly. Uh, and the church is round. Um, there we go, I think I've got an image, not of the outside, but of the inside. So you can actually see, so you can see, so this is the fresco cycle around the outside of the church. The church was a really, really old one. So it was built way back in the fifth century. Um, and then was pretty much rebuilt in the 15th century. But the fresco cycle that I'm talking about dates to um, the well, mid to late um, 16th century. So they were completed by um, in, in around about 1582. Obviously, they took probably longer than a year to do by a couple of artists are um, accredited um, or not credited, so we're not entirely sure, but um, a guy called Sir Shnani, I think I've said that right, it looks like Sir Gnani, Steph, I think you speak Italian, um, and Niccolo Sir Shnani and Matteo de Siena. So these two twisted minds are responsible for this fresco cycle. So as I said, the first one um, is St. Stephen church is dedicated to St. Stephen. So here he is in the front of the image, um, getting stoned at point blank range, I'm going to say, by, um, well, to be honest, by what looks like a load of baked potatoes. Just saying it like it is, this is not the most gory fresco of the cycle. We're going to work up to that. Uh, yeah, they do like baked potatoes. But anyway, you know, in any case, it's not nice. I mean, you know, do you want to go out and get baked potatoes thrown at you? No. Do you want to go out and get whacking great big stones thrown at you? Even more no. Thank you very much. Not that he seems to be too bothered. He is kneeling there with his arms out in a sort of echo perhaps of Jesus on the cross and he's looking up to the heavens. I would like to say that he is looking up at this these two images in the in the cloud that you can see up in the top left hand corner um, that I'm not sure he actually is if he were which is surprising because the, the, this is part of the reason that he's got stoned in the first place but this is potentially um, what he could be looking at uh, which is well I'm sure you recognize that that's an image of God uh, with Jesus holding a, a cross his right hand and God by the way has got a globe um, <laughs> between his hand on his knee and his knee so um, the world I think not kind of like uh, yeah I think it's supposed to be the real globe anyway um, so yeah so why is Stephen getting stoned um, <laughs> why is Stephen getting stoned it's a close up of Stephen getting stoned um, he sorry um he was the first martyr 
So he wasn't one of the 12 apostles, but he was very close to them. He was considered to be the sort of first deacon of the church. And he was incredibly outspoken um, uh, and basically telling everybody, he was in Jerusalem, he was telling everybody that they were wrong. And he caused a whole furore and really, really pissed people off until it got to the stage where he got taken to court. But in the court, did he hold his counsel? Uh, no, he didn't. He then started to say that um, Jesus had been murdered and that Moses from the Old Testament had um, had, had foretold what was going to happen um, and frankly he knew that all of this was absolutely right because he could see a vision up in the heavens of, well you've guessed it, of God and Christ. So yeah, it didn't go well for him, all of this. Um, he He really he really made people in the court extremely angry and he got chased out of the court and um and once he was actually outside of um of rome or sorry of jerusalem um he was then stoned to death you'll notice that in the center of this painting fresco rather there is an a um so the the artists have very kindly given the uh the spectators or the viewers of these frescoes a, a little bit of a, a code um and actually the codes relate to all sorts of different parts of prayer and 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 so on or there's other inscriptions that relate to prayer so there's there's quite a lot of texts that go with these that, that we won't be looking at um but there's an a and there's a b and there's a c in this image if you care to notice them. Um, the B is up um, sort of over to the right of the uh, A and a little bit higher up and then there's a C all the way over to the left nearly at the top. Uh, so the A, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a code, so the A relates to um, Stephen, so there's a little bit of text at the bottom saying St Stephen. The B says the Apostles. So let's just have a look at that in the background. So there's a little bit going on in the background there. Um, so here we go. So this is the B and these are the apostles. Now, I don't actually know whether I'm telling the exact truth here because there isn't very much information that I can find that is about these frescoes. But looking at this and thinking about the whole story of St. Stephen, so he was the first martyr, um, but he wasn't one of the apostles but because he was stoned to death the apostles then kind of dispersed if not um, geographically perhaps kind of slightly metaphorically you know as as it would it sort of put the the, the wind up them somewhat uh, so I am wondering whether you can see here some um, people with halos and it's a bit confusing because some of the people with halos look as though they're actually holding up their arms as well with like t twigs or branches, you know, to, to, to thrash someone. Um, but in fact, they aren't. So the people with halos are being thrashed with branches by other people. So I think this might be a sort of a nod to how St. Stephen was chased out of the law courts, um, but then also um, a, a sort of a, a nod as well to the fact that the, the apostles were then kind of dispersed after the death of St. Stephen. And the, and kind of looking at the the bit that's labelled C, um, which is which is where are you? Which is over here. That's it. Um, so C is labelled. Ah, uh, we seem to be experiencing some difficulties with transmission. While we fix the problem, here's a little music.